Oh! It's no use, lad. The bees outside may be neutralized, but the ones inside are still buzzing mad, and they won't let me leave. It's up to you, Gromit. Classified all the bees, Gromit. Good lad. I knew I could count on you. That's right. Poor Miss Flit is still trapped in that tree, isn't she? Help! Get me down from here! Don't panic. I'm coming, Miss Flit. Oh. Seems I'm underdressed. Gracious! Hang on, Miss Flint! <laughs> My savior! So that's the story, Miss Flit. I'm afraid my miracle growth formula led to some uh, super-sized problems. I hope you're going to get rid of the infernal stuff. Oh, I am. And rest assured, all the bees have been dealt with safely and humanely. Well, that's a relief. But weren't you scared facing down an angry swarm of giant bees all by yourself? Frightened? Oh, well, I, uh... Oh, I was heavily outnumbered, of course, but uh, they soon saw who was boss and that the uh, sting was on the other foot. I was terrified. That's only natural, Miss Flit. Uh, uh, well, I had a twinge or two myself at times, you know, but keep a cool head. That's my motto. Look your adversary square in the eye and never let yourself get carried away. <laughs> Royal 
jelly! The ingratitude! After I've built her a hive in solid brass, and the magnetronic pollinator thingamajig to take all the hard work out of honey making. Oh, I'm beginning to think I should never have mixed this growth formula at all. I ought to chuck it away. Hey, easy old girl. No need to get excited. Put me down gently, and no one will get... Oh dear. Nothing in the beekeeper's manual about aerial abduction. Help! Help! Robin! What a boy! I knew you'd come through! Get the ladder, lad! and I left the spare at home. little episode in one piece. More than I can say for the autopilot, I'm afraid. Oh, the autopilot! Oh dear, looks like our troubles aren't quite over. Look out behind you, Grommy! Keep her at bay. I'll try and lose her in here. Honey could use a little kick. Give her a dose of her own medicine, lad. 